Praise the Lord. To all of our viewers, we thank God for you, and we encourage your financial support of this ministry. We are here to bless you and know that the Lord will bless your giving. You can use PayPal by going to our website, dovechurch.org forward slash giving, which will take you to our PayPal page. We appreciate your sharing this time with us today. God bless you.
because our God is just a great. We can't praise you enough. We can't thank you enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better than that. They said, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Give him a good praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to Dove Church. If you are viewing us through whatever media outlet, we welcome you to our live service today. And we thank God for you and we bless God for you today. We serve a mighty God. We serve a great God. And he's good to us right now. Thank you for your prayers, your contributions, your comments, and your support of this ministry. At the end of this, this media outreach will be an announcement from our announcer telling you how you can give into the ministry. And this is good ground to give into, and we thank God for it. As we produce for the kingdom, we replicate for the kingdom. And so we bless you today. Well, as usual, we are ready for the word of God. And we thank you for, for just applying this word to your life. We get comments back from you. Your amen, your that's true, and I believe that. I'm going to use that, Pastor, so we thank you for that. So everybody with your Bibles in this auditorium and in, in our media uh, 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 land area, lift up your Bibles, repeating after me. This is my Bible. I am who it says I am. This book calls me an overcomer, and that's who I am. Today I shall be taught. The infallible, unchanging word of God. So my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. As I gladly receive the word today. I believe that faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you for the entrance of your word. It's not only life, but it's light. And so, God, we rebuke everything on, on assignment to stop the word from going forth with power and free course. And we rebuke the enemy out of this place. Tell him, go from here. God, we thank you for ears to hear and hearts to receive. Now, Lord, let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And they all said, Amen. Amen. Our subject title is an expression. And here it is. It's taking too long. It's taking too long. Each of us has been in a place where we say it's taking too long. What's the hold up? (laughs) I'm past ready to get it. It's taking too long. Anybody can say you said that before. It's taking too long. This one statement expresses a number of feelings. Sometimes there is a pileup of feelings, grief, anger, 
weakly, and hopelessness. You could possibly add to the list. It appears this season has tested our patience and hope through waiting. We wait at restaurants. We wait to get waited on. In the stores, we want to spend our money. We wait at the register for that person whose bill came to to a dollar and 99 cent and they want to count out 99 pennies. Anybody ever been behind somebody? (laughs) You don't say it, but you're saying it's taking too long. And you want to move them over and say, just take the dollar. (laughs) I'll suffer the penny. Just take it. We wait in line to buy gas at a price that we don't want to pay for anyway. (laughs) My God. What are you waiting on that's taking too long? What are you waiting on that's taking too long? All of us are waiting on some. We're waiting on a break. Some of us might be waiting to find love. Somebody else is waiting to be discovered. Every one of you waiting on something. But let me call your name, your, your stuff out today. You're not happy about the wait. Because it's taking too long. Turn to Proverbs 13 and 12. We're going to help with this dilemma today. Proverbs 13 and 12. New King James Version is where we will principally be in this service. See, this is the essence of the problem right here. It says, hope deferred Makes the heart sick. Comma. But when the desire come, comes, it is a tree of life. So there's a lot of unpacking we need to do with this, this small single verse right here. But I need to do some definition things because there are two key words in this, this, this passage. The number one word that needs to be defined for us, and I, I put it in 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 in, in loose cell language. I didn't even go to a dictionary per se to get a definition. Uh, number one, hope. The things you want positive outcomes over. That's what you hope for. The things you want. Positive outcomes over. It's not going to come on the board. You just got to scribble fast. Do I need to say it again? The things you want positive outcomes over. And then next to the word hope in our scripture is the word deferred. That's the nasty word. Deferred means To postpone or delay to another time. To postpone or delay to another time. The fact 
fact that both of these words are side by side stops us in our track. Hope deferred. You mean to tell me my hope can be postponed or delayed to another time? That's what the scripture is brutally saying, yes. Like it or lump it, you on delay sometimes. You on deferral. But the problem with deferred hope is that it breeds hopelessness. Hopelessness. And this hopelessness will take over your life if you don't encourage yourself in the word. You'll be hopeless. Sing a, singing a woe is me song all the time. Nobody ever done nothing for me. Don't nobody like me. Our scripture says hope deferred makes the heart sick. How? Because no one likes waiting. You don't want to wait. You got a timer on the microwave and you'll set it for 30 seconds. But I declare you'll pull it out at 15 or 20. And you know what you do? The part that's hot on the plate and the part that's a little cooler, you just stir them together. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm in the lane today. Come on. Because <laughs> you didn't want to wait. My God. Impatient people almost don't make good cooks either. They burn everything up. Because they think the higher the fire, the faster a cooking. <laughs> they long since passed the day where, 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 where mama kind of put on a pot and put it on simmer and that's the way it was all day long. And it was so, so doggone good you didn't know what happened to it. You just know that it, it tasted like all day. <laughs> come on, come on. Because it wasn't cooked quick. It, it, it simmered a little bit. And sometimes maybe that's what God is trying to get you to slow down so he can simmer with you a little bit. Marinate some stuff. Let the seasoning go through. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about today? A little bit. You can taste something that something that take time and, it, and, and, and all the stuff went through it so good till you said it's, it's, it's just mm, good in any corner of your mouth, daddy. Oh, you didn't wake up on mighty God we serve, but you're going to wake up on this. When delay comes, we experience emotional symptoms that can translate into bodily ailments. That's why you can't operate in hopelessness. Disappointment is hope deferred. Disillusionment is hope deferred. Dismay is hope deferred. Any of the dis is hope deferred. When we refer to our heart as the scripture has alluded to, we think of the, the muscle that is beating in our chest, which is our identified heart. But, 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 but the heart is in a different place. The heart is the center of our emotions and hormone regulation 
and it is in the brain controlled by, I'm going to give you another word, the amygdala. A-M. Y. G. D-A-L-A. The amygdala. It controls your hormones, your happiness, your sad, your glad, your flight. And when you are hopeless, this emotional center sends out stuff. It's the thing that makes you cry when you're grieving or when you're happy. Your emotional center. It's the thing that can, can set off this, your autoimmune system that can make you sick. Yeah. 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 When you get so down and hopeless, you go into anxiety and depression. Yeah. You don't want to do anything. It affects your appetite. You notice you, you're losing hair in spots where... It, 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 well, I lost mine, but it wasn't an emotional thing, but... Uh, It's what ushers on an end middle age crisis. I want to wear bell bottoms again and glass bottom shoes. Lord have mercy. If something makes the heart sick, the mid the inside of your internal heart, your, your brain, if something makes it sick, it causes the despair and affliction. When we wait for a good thing for so long, that desire and expectation turns to hopelessness. What else can happen? We become spiritually dried up and vulnerable to enemy attack. When you're so weak, the enemy jumps you there. Because you're emotionally off balance. You're out of sorts. You're tore up. Hope deferred. Makes the heart sick. Do not despair. This is only part A of that text. Say with me, there's something good coming after the comma. So after the comma, the next word is but... Sometime you got to live through stuff until you can get to the but. But is the transitional word. That means things getting ready to change. Come, come on. Come, come. Do, do, do you hear what I'm saying? After the wait comes the but. It's time. To receive. Anybody waiting on that transitional word to show up? Don't give up. You're close to it. Don't give out. Don't lose your hope. You're close to it. Don't get upset. It's almost here. Don't let the enemy jump you because he knows. Because God is doing it in his face. So he's looking at what God is about to do. And he's trying to block you. But he can only get in the way so long. But you can, you're going to make it through. Because what he has for you, nobody can stop. If they have to drag you under, he's bringing you out of it. If they have to drag you over, he's bringing you over it. But you're going to get it because you've got to get to the... <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to some people. You're waiting on it. You, 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 
You, you, and you. After you've been heart sick, and after you've been tore up, the Bible says, but when the desire comes, the thing that you've been believing for, it is a tree of life. When you get what you believe in for, when the desire comes. <laughs> I was waiting on it. I was waiting on it. There's been times I didn't know whether it would happen. But I kept waiting on it. Didn't look like it would ever come to pass, but I kept on. Uh, waiting on it. Then after a while, the, set, the Lord sends a word and he said, but when the desire comes, when I finally lay hold on it, it changes my whole disposition. Oh, y'all don't know what I'm even talking about today, but you better get this today. You're waiting on a lot of stuff, but the only thing you're waiting on is one word from the Lord that says, but when the desire comes. What is the tree of life? It's like water to a dry plant. It brings life. And we are refreshed. I've come to tell you, do not fall out during the deferred season. Tap somebody near you. I know we're not supposed to touch each other, but go and do it. Tap them and say, do not fall out during the deferred season. Because it is not permanent. <laughs> oh, it's not permanent. <laughs> Why? Because there is a season of refreshing coming on the other side. And before it gets here, throw your hand up in the air and say, I'm receiving, I'm receiving. my season, my season. Of, refreshing. of refreshing. It's not here yet, but I'm receiving it. You can have what you say. Go on and receive it. It's coming with a better quality of life. And it's not coming to be with you a long time. Why do I know that? Because the Bible says, but when the desire comes, it is as a tree of life. And a tree produces seed for continued season. Continue season. Oh my God. Oh my God. For a continued season, the seed drops off and it starts all over again. He said, a tree of life. That means this season is going to be sustained a long time. Throw your hands up again. I'm receiving my season of refreshing. Come on, put your hands together. Come on. Come on, you can sit there and act like you ain't got nothing coming. That's the place of hopelessness, but you're not in a hopeless situation. 
This is the season that you need to be in. It looks like the, the world calls it hopelessness, but in God, it's a place of grooming. Yes, yes, yes. He's working on you. In this time when you feel denied, that's when he's proving you. He's stretching you and making something out of you that he couldn't make out of you during the good time. Because in the good times, you wouldn't hear him. So he challenges you to trust him. And just on the edge of hopelessness, he said, but I'm here in the midst of it. Ooh. See, some people can go through without the Lord, and then other people can go through with the Lord. Which one do you want? Either you get drugged through or you get helped through. Which one do you want? The world wants to drag you through. So on the other side, ain't nothing left to save. But it's a funny thing that when you deal with God and he's working with you, when you get on on the other side, you you don't smell like smoke. And you're not waterlogged. And you don't look like you've been through nothing. You look good. Which one do you want? This scripture is one of the Proverbs of Solomon who was saying it in front of Jesus' coming. But for us, our position is is different. We have Jesus Christ. Romans 5, 1 through 4. And I'm almost done, I guess. It's it's on the screen. Come on, let's let's keep going. Therefore, having been justified, and I'm going to read with emphasis, made right by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we also, we also, we have access by faith into the grace. Everybody holler access. In which we stand and rejoice in what? Of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory. Look, 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 look here. Look here. Come on, come on, look here. Y'all don't want to read it, but you're going to read it today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because you don't think this part of the process. We glory in, what's the next word? Knowing that produces and perseverance. And character get you to the goal. That's where you're headed. That's what gets you to the goal. It's called stretch and pull. Stretch and pull. Sometimes when I make rolls, After, after the dough has been proved a little bit, <laughs> you work it over and you divide out and you kind of start working and it said, need some more. It means stretch and pull. Right. Right. So you can get to appropriate size. So at the end, you have something edible. Yes. <laughs> yes. Something good. Process, process, process. You've got to go through the process. We don't want any process. You want to just jump to. When I became a preacher, I didn't get the pulpit first. I got the mop in the pail. I might have had a big Bible, but it was laying on the chair next to the mop in the pail. Amen. Amen. Press and pull. 
process, process. Do not get hopelessness sick. Your hope must be proven. Write that down. Anybody getting blessed today a little bit? There is a great hymn of the church. And it goes like this. The name of it is God Leads Us Alone. And I heard just part of this verse while I was meditating on this, this message. And it said, some through the waters, and in, in, in the title is God Leads Us Alone. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives us some. In the night season and all the day long. Sometimes on the mount where the sun shines so bright, God leads his dear children alone. Sometimes in the valley, in the darkest of night, God leads his dear children along. God's leading you along. Romans 8, 24 and 25. If you're not saved today, you can join in by getting saved and this verse will be appropriately applied to you. It says here, are you there? For we were saved in this hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. If you can see it, you don't need to hope for it. You already got it. <laughs> for why does one still hope for what he sees? In parenthesis, what has happened, what has appeared. But the next verse said, for we were saved in this hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? 1 Peter 1 and 3. 1 Peter 1 and 3. It says there. need to make a correction in Acts 8. I'm not Acts 8, Romans 8. Verse 25 said this. I think I read 24 twice. For some reason it came up in my notes a little different. Verse 25 says this. It's good to know your stuff. Huh? <laughs> Verse 25 says, but if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Yes. We persevere. Until it shows up. Is that it? All right. First Peter 1 and 3. This is the, the crux of the whole thing. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. We have hope in who? Jesus Christ. Jesus not only is the way, Jesus is the truth, Jesus is the life, Jesus is healed, Jesus is hope. Blessings to you today. Come on, give him a better praise than that. Come on, better than that. You hope feel new season. You got a season of refreshing coming. Come on, act like you get ready to receive something. All over this room, throw up hands and begin to worship him and thank him. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. A bud is coming. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If you heard us today and you received this word, give the Lord Jesus your life because he loves you right where you are. You can repeat this simple confession after me to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to all say it together with you. Father, in Jesus' name, I repent of sin and I receive you into my heart. Come into my heart today, Lord Jesus. Be my Lord and Savior. Today I believe in a miracle. I believe one day you died on a cross. And three days later, you were resurrected from the dead. And on that confession, and with that faith, I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my heart and saving me today. Amen. Well, if you are in this audience and you prayed that prayer, lift up a hand and say, Pastor, I prayed to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm talking to somebody today. And while we're still here, if you need to return back to the presence of the Lord, return back to the fellowship of faith. You say, I've been out of fellowship for a while and I need to return back to church. If that's you, slip up a hand. We're glad to receive you. We love you today. We see your hand. Thank you. We love you today. And we praise God for you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He loves you just where you are. He came that you might be filled with hope. So now abide in faith, hope, and love. But undergirding all of them is love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you were the one person that slipped up your hand, put it back up, and all of us are going to pray with you right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We receive our brother back. And we praise you for him. We praise you for a hearkening call in his life, God, that you, you called him. Because you loved him. And you continually call us hey, because you love us. So we thank you for our covenant again. Bless him.
increasing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together for it. Come on, while you're doing that, let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To all of our viewers, we thank God for you, and we encourage your financial support of this ministry. We are here to bless you and know that the Lord will bless your giving. You can use PayPal by going to our website, dovechurch.org forward slash giving, which will take you to our PayPal page. We appreciate your sharing this time with us today. God bless you.